Hiya, it's Mo here and I just want to make a quick video to give you a little insight into our recent production of the Caucasian Chalk Circle, specifically taking the harp through tech and some of the challenges or new things to consider that we faced. Hello, it's the morning of our first day of tech in the Mac Theatre for the Caucasian Chalk Circle and I've just been tuning my harp. Hello, unexpected voiceover. So yes, as most harp jokes go, there was a lot of tuning, especially at the beginning as the harps got used to the new environment. Oh dear, that's not nice. Here is the wonderful Poppy Parfit, my fellow act muso harpist, tuning hers. Hello, day two of tech, well officially first day of tech. Yesterday we were doing sound checks, but it's the second day that we're teching. Um, I thought I'd show how we have liked the harps. So we, since both Poppy and I wear the harps, so they're flat against our chest, um, we suggested putting everything inside, as that's sort of what we've done previously when we've mic'd harps in other uh, things before. I've never mic'd anything to this professional standard before, so this is very exciting. So, first of all, down here we've stuck the battery pack in, and the mic pack in, uh, with sticky velcro, so there's sticky velcro attached to the inside of the harp on the non-varnished part and then the mic pack sits down there and then this clip holds the microphone which is hidden inside. There was a worry that especially when we're wearing it and we're kind of flat against it that it would create like this booming sound inside but the mic's picked it up really really well. just really want to say a massive hats off to the sound team, they've done a fantastic job at fitting that mic in there and it sounds absolutely great. Tech day three today, um, it's cold outside. Um, the tech day yesterday went well, um, obviously like, tech is all about problem solving and obviously it's mainly for the tech team less for us, but um, I think it went quite smoothly. And of course it was so exciting getting to wear the costumes on stage and like really seeing how it's all gonna kind of look and get put together. Exciting. In terms of harp, thing I learnt, well this is, we learned this in um, in rehearsals that I needed a stand because I don't have a stand. Um, so this is something my dad made for me. This is meant to be the, the prototype which and then we were going to make it out of wood but um, I wasn't at home long enough to do that and also I needed to check that the harp actually fit it. So that's a bit of my um, handiwork of sanding it down when it didn't there. There's a lot of quick scene changes in which I'm running back and forth, dropping my harp off in different places or mainly putting it on the stand. I've got a stand because it's much easier to quickly put it in the stand rather than trying to gently lay it on the floor, also it takes up less space, so that's what I learned in rehearsals. But something I learned yesterday was um, <laughs> trying to do it in the dark. I didn't, I couldn't judge how far, how close I was putting the harp down. And so I just kind of dropped it and the harp <laughs> knocked. And I had a mini heart attack. Harp attack, but I'm not sure. Um, so, uh, Polly, our music captain, recommended getting some glow in the dark tape to put on there. So I'm going to ask stage management if they have any spare. And I can put it on there. Just so at least I can see where the ed 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 edge is and hopefully I won't donk the harp again. Last day of tech today, we just had half a day. Uh, did we went to a back to one and an amendment I'm making to my stand is taping it so obviously it's quite a very homemade contraption so it's not the most stable but it meant that I think it was on an uneven bit of the flooring it shifted and it meant that I couldn't in one of the quick scene changes my harp wasn't going in properly and I can't just kind of leave it wobbling so I was slightly late to a scene change. It carried on fine, it just wasn't as smooth as normal. So I am just reinforcing it with some gaffer tape. Here we go. All gaffer up and that's a lot more secure now. And there's the glow in the dark. And yeah, <laughs> we bargained. What was that noise? Oh my God, that was crazy. I was so, I thought they were crane wife. I thought they might sort of go. That's so scary. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah. yeah, so I forgot about my heart. Oh, oh, okay. Um, I felt that the pack was loose when I sat there and I was trying to like pop the, like put the wire back inside the car. I started playing, I heard it and I was like, there's fuzzing. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, I, and then I, so I stopped playing and I stopped it. I was like, okay. Oh. I joined back in on the next bit. I played yeah. one note and it immediately so I was like, okay, I'm not playing in Ukraine right now. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, They're no. good, good instinct though. I was trying yeah. to like signal to Poppy with my eyes, just like, I can't play. Yeah. And then, so, and then I was like, okay, scene change. Okay, it should sound fine without the heart. So I was just looking at Mary, it's like, Come on! Oh, oh no! Just on, on the vlog. Yeah, yeah go on. Um, just love and appreciation for Carlos sound. Cause Absolutely. I came I'll, get on, I'll get them in the vlog. The next time I was on, like off stage, I was like, this is the heart. I. I panic i was already planning because me and mo played this underscore together and you weren't there and yeah. you were always there before me i was planning i was like do i know the second part on the car next that's like the hardest that's yeah. like over the brakes it's really hard but carlos person he was already fixing a mandolin oh. and i came over with the heart he's got a little costume now has he so what had happened was the wire going into the mic pack had come loose and that was what was causing the fuzzing and as Poppy and I crossed the stage during the following scene change, she just kind of whispered to me, do you need my harp? <laughs> Thankfully, I didn't play harp again until later on when I had enough time to go stand in the wings um, and go find Carlos and, and, and get him to help me fix it. And the reason why Carlos has his own costume was in, um, in our production, the set is there there aren't any wings really you can see right into the wings there aren't any um dividers i can't remember what they're called now so if carlos is hidden in the wings helping with any malfunctions if someone were to see him it looks still part of the set so to give a little flavor of what the show looked like here is marios poppy grace and polly in action and here is a fantastic shot of me and Poppy using our harps in a very actor muso way, being the belly of a whale in Mariner's Revenge, creating its ribs over Sammy and Adam underneath. Thanks so much for watching. That was a very quick insight into the whole adventure that is teching and performing an actor muso show. I'd love to do more discussions and like Q and A's or chats with Poppy in the future about how being a harpist fits in with being an act muso and great little nuggets of things we've learned and just fun times we've had so i look forward to putting some of that together in the meantime please go check out polly maltby's uh vlogs plural uh she's done them over the time that we've been at mount view uh, especially go check out the wizard of vlogs and the the cork talks i think it's called it, um are her vlogs of our two productions so far thanks for watching bye